Why, hello there. I'm so happy you could drop by. Today we're going to continue our ongoing series of Emotions in Music, where we talk about the emotions that are conveyed through music, through its rhythms, through its tones, through its melodies, and through its instruments. Now, if you're wondering why I'm talking like I'm auditioning to be the narrator on a National Geographic documentary, it's because today's emotional theme is serenity. We're going to be talking about how music can be relaxing and calming and soothing, and generally how it makes us feel so that we just want to lay back, relax, and enjoy the sounds around us. And to properly do that, we're going to need a little help. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, I was lying. Hello everyone. As I said, we're gonna be talking about serenity today. So I hope you're nice and relaxed. So serenity is actually a very interesting form of music to me because alongside intimidation, I think it's the most natural sounding of all the musical themes. It really sounds like what nature sounds like. And you think of things that are relaxing, things that are soothing. We typically think of things like you know, shore, the shoreline, you know, water, the waves crashing on the shore, or maybe a stream running, like, softly, that, I don't know how to make a stream noise, or maybe just wind blowing over a field, that, I don't know, I don't know if you find that relaxing, I find that last one very relaxing, but the point is, it's all things that sound very natural and very, you know, just soothing to our souls, and, Joy and melancholy and everything except for, you know, intimidation and serenity sound a little too artificial. They sound, you know, like they were made as human or made by humans. Whereas those two kind of sound like, oh, this sounds like something that you just kind of hear naturally in the world. And I think that kind of brings us back to the very primal feeling of just looking out over the horizon and, you know, seeing the caribou walk, run across, I don't know what a caribou looks like, but you get the idea. When we think of serene music, we usually think of you know, slower rhythms, nice like flowy, you know, rhythms that are kind of like just acting as if they're water or wind. They, they feel very natural, they feel very, you know, soft in their delivery. And so we're typically doing them with softer instruments so you're not going to have things like horn instruments like trumpets or trombones and you're not going to typically have like really deep powerful instruments like tubas or even bassoons to a lesser extent and so you're typically going to have i use typically like three times in that sentence but you're usually going to have you know softer instruments you know stringed instruments piano guitar and very commonly, you'll have things like woodwind instruments, so your flutes, your piccolos, your, um, I'm trying to think of the alto instrument for a flute, and I'm totally drawing a blank. Um, whatever, you know what I mean. Um, and it sounds very harmonious, it sounds, like I said, just like nature. You're gonna hear things that seem, you know, just like, you're gonna feel relaxed, and you're gonna not wanna move, you're just gonna take in everything that you're hearing. And you're just going to feel like you're kind of floating. That's that's what I always like to think of. Like you're floating in a, a bay, just relaxing, just feeling the feeling of everything around you. And that's actually going to come up in one of our examples. So in terms of notes and chord structures, you can really go either or with going with Ionian, as in major keys, or Aeolian, as in minor keys. It is a little harder, in my opinion, to make it work in minor keys because minor keys do have that natural sort of tension because they have dissonance. So minor keys will, you know, have more dissonant sounds. That's why they sound sad or they can sound, you know, upsetting or kind of anxious. Whereas, you know, major chords and major keys are more happy and more light. Um, and so you're going to have, in my opinion, it's better to use major keys if you're going to you know, go for a, you know, serene sound. But, you know, just because you're in a major key doesn't mean you can't have minor chords. And you want to keep your dissonance to a minimum as much as possible. 
and only put it where it fits. Now, the other thing that's important to keep in mind is the seventh notes. So the seventh chords, or seventh, seventh note, are the is the last note before you come back to your root note. It will be the, uh, the T in your Do if you're in a major key and the Te in your Do if you're in a minor key. Or T if you're in a harmonic, whatever. I went over that in the last video. Anyway, when you do that, it kind of adds just a little bit of, oh, what's going on here? Oh, this is interesting because it's anticipatory. It anticipates going into the next note. So if you're playing a note and you're right below the do, so say our do is do, and so it's do, t. So if I go to the t, naturally that t wants to resolve to the do. And that just in your brain, when you hear it, you want it to go up. You're like, go up that half step. Go up it. I want to hear it resolve. And that's what kind of adds that like sense of satisfaction because it go t do and we'll end on that one or you know end on a five or whatever but the point is if you have a seven you usually resolve to the do especially in serene music because you have that satisfying very soothing conclusion for our first example we actually have a song that i think is really good and comes from a an older generation it comes from the 16-bit generation in the i believe early 90s it comes from a game I played a lot as a kid, Sonic the Hedgehog. And that song is Labyrinth Zone's theme. So, again, as always, it'll be linked in the description. And what I love about this song is the context in which it's played. So for those of you who have never played a Sonic game, the water levels are the most stressful levels in the entire game. They suck. Nobody likes the water levels. Show of hands, who likes the water? Put your hand down! This isn't a very calm video now that I say it, think about it. <laughs> but nobody likes the water levels because they're stressful, they slow you down, they're just annoying. And when you're underwater, Sonic can drown. And they play a very stressful tune when Sonic is drowning. And if anyone's ever heard it, you would understand it why, or understand why it's stressful and completely antithetical to the idea of being serene. But the music for Labyrinth Zone is very relaxing. It's very, it's very disarming. Cause you're like, oh, this is nice. I like this. this is, I feel nice. I'm like floating in a nice pool of water and it's, you know, it's soft. But what's interesting is during what I would guess is the chorus of the song, it adds in more instrumentation and adds in more kind of um, tone color. And, you know, by adding in, you know, depth and layers to the instrumentation, it's not really, you know, just not even so much the instrumentation, just, but just the musicality. And it actually feels like you're going underwater. And it's, you have that, like, sense of dread, but you're also like, this is cool, and I'm, I'm liking this, and this is, I feel like, you know, it's like that moment where you're underwater, and you're like, oh, man, this is cool. I'm, like, surrounded by all, I feel all this on my skin, and I want to just lay down here. And then you start to drown and you panic and you freak out because you can't find a bubble and it's horrible! Our second example off of that stress-induced nightmare is another song that's based around water. And I think this one perfectly encapsulates what I was talking about earlier when it comes to the idea of it sounding natural. It's sounding like it's something you'd hear if you were to just go outside. And that is Dire Dire Docks. Now, I'm not 100% sure that's what the song is called, but that is the song that is played at Jolly Rogers Lagoon Bay. I always forget which one is the one in Banjo-Kazooie and which one, or Banjo-Tooie, and which one's the one in Mario 64. The one from Mario 64. The, the, the water level song in Mario 64, I think it's called Dire Dire Docks. I don't know. I didn't do too much research. I, whatever. Anyway, if you've ever heard it, it's a very slow relaxing sound it's very it flows like water it sounds like you're just sitting next to a stream and just like looking at the water and hearing it flow and the water's singing to you telling you hey you should just relax take it easy pal there's not you know there's an evil turtle dragon that took your girlfriend but you know maybe we should just chill out here for a little bit you know to have a nice little beach day and What's really cool about Dire Dire Docks' music, with the song, 
the whatever the water. I don't even know what to call it. What's really cool about this song is that it changes when you go underwater, and it adds more instruments and adds again more tone color as if you are going underwater, and it only heightens the sense of like serenity and like oh man this is nice I like being down here until again you drown because you get hit and then Mario's drowning is linked to his health and it doesn't make sense and why do they do this to us I hate it hmm. sorry I just had a moment but the song is good the song is great the song is very nice to listen to to relax stupid rants aside that is the long and short of it folks it's just it's music that feels very natural to us and it feels like it's touching a part of you that you really don't know but you know feels right and whenever you're feeling stressed or whatever I really recommend listen to those songs and look up other you know there are other songs like the uh, music that's played in Minecraft is very relaxing and you know it kind of is just nice to hear whenever you're having a hard day and what's great about all this is just it it disarms you because though usually used used use serene serenity whatever you want to call it serene was the right word but whatever <laughs> so they usually use serene music when they're trying to kind of disarm you in a lot of cases and there are i'm i'm positive i can think of plenty of more cases in which serene music is just absolutely put in contrast to a very stressful situation but it's still beautiful music that is really great to listen to especially when you need to just sit back and relax that being said ladies and gentlemen and everyone else i have been so happy to share this you know information with you and I hope you're ready. I hope this nice, calm atmosphere is getting you ready for what we're going to talk about next week. And next week, we're going to be talking about intimidation. Ooh, scary, you know, fearful music that makes you worried about, can I do this? I don't know if I can do this. Just playing on your anxieties, playing on your fears. It's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, I'm so happy that you guys came by. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Let me know what your favorite Serene songs are. And let me know what you think of the examples. Anyway, hope you guys had fun. I'll see you on the flip side. I do this like different hands each video. I need to pick a hand and stick with it. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys.